Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Morphine Ransomware Factories. Now, before I dive into today's story, let me give you a little bit of a background. You've probably heard me talk about morphine malware over the past few months. When I say morphine malware, this is when a ransomware or malware variant, let's say Lockie, is constantly changing itself or morphine to evade detection. Now, there's many different ways attackers can morph their malware. For instance, they can make small changes to the actual code, or they can use underground techniques that they call packing encrypting to actually change the way their malware looks. Basically, there's all kinds of different ways you can encode or compress an executable file, and bad guys use lots of tricks to take the same ultimate malware and make it look different on a binary level. Now, this actually helps evade a lot of legacy legacy antivirus products. As you probably know, a lot of antivirus and threat detection products are based on finding patterns in files. And by constantly changing the way their, their files look, they change this pattern, making it harder for products to actually signature a file. Now diving into today's story, a research group called Invincia released a blog post that talks to how often bad guys are actually morphing or changing their malware. Morphine malware is not not a new technique. Bad guys have had what they call malware factories, which are the distributing servers for malware. They have these factories automatically change their malware regularly. This has happened since before 2007. In fact, some big botnets like the Zeus botnet would often have its distributing servers change the variant of Zeus over and over, maybe every one hour. However, Invincia's new research shows how aggressive attackers have become at morphing their malware where they're literally changing it over and over for every single victim. Basically, they found a computer that was infected with a version of Cerber, which is a ransomware variant. In their forensic research, when they found the server that was distributing this malware, they went and they tried to download it themselves. And when they did, they got a different variant or a file that had a different hash than the original malware. In fact, they tried to download it over and over 40 times every 15 seconds, and they kept getting different hashed files. Files. So again, this was still the server virus. When they ran it, it did the same thing the ransomware always does. But the server was changing the malware every 15 seconds to give the victim a new variant. So this research just goes to show you how aggressive attackers have become at morphing their malware. This means that depending on signature-based AV alone is not enough. You need products that can catch malware without relying on patterns. Now, AV products sometimes have have heuristics and other ways to catch malware, but one of the best things is to get some sort of behavioral-based sandbox solution, like a solution WatchGuard has an APT blocker. In our cloud-based sandbox, we can actually run new, never seen uh, variants of malware, and we pay attention to behaviors, not the pattern in the file. And even if the file changes over and over, the behaviors for certain ransomware variants will always be the same. So we can detect new malware even if the signature for the file itself has changed. So the takeaway here is simple. While you might keep signature-based AV as well, just to catch the malware that's already out, you should look into some sort of advanced threat protection solution, malware detection solutions that don't pay attention to signatures and rather look at behaviors and other techniques to catch new, never-before-seen malware. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.